What's up people of the YouTube, Bori here with another tutorial. Today we'll be checking out watermarks and how to add them to your AMVs. What is a watermark then? Well, it's this little thingy-majingy that some people use in their AMVs to have them in like the lower left or right corner to like brand their AMV, as you should say, to prevent like people from stealing it or re-uploading it to another channel and stuff like that. I have my like the middle part of my Borea logo as my branding, as you can see right here, the video five layer. What I usually do is I uh, edit on three tracks, then I have a color correction track, and then I have the branding above it, since if I do some changes with the color and stuff like that, I don't want uh, my brand to, it wants, I want it to be the same. And also I have it on 20 opacity, so it's like kind of transparent. <laughs> You still can see through it. How would you go about doing one of those watermarks then? Well, I'm gonna show you an an easy version, to, easy version today. Uh, so you can just add in like a text or a, something s s as simple as that. Uh, I will show you in Photoshop, but I will also show a quick way how to do it in Paint if you don't have Photoshop. Uh, but yeah, let's go into Photoshop first and start up a new one. What I usually do is I go to web up here, web, and then I choose the medium rectangle. I suggest you do that at least, since you get the almost the perfect size for what you want. Uh, we're getting rid of those. And let's just do something simple today. I'm gonna add some text, like AMV. Yeah, let's do that this. Okay, center it, something like that. Yep. Yeah, that will do. And let's just go into here. We have the layers, the text layer and the background. What you want to do is get rid of the background right here. So I will double click it and make it to a layer. Then after that, you can delete it by just pressing delete. And now you have this checkerboard behind it. What that means is there's nothing here. It's just the text layer. So it's like transparent. There is nothing behind it. Um, so yeah, let's. We're kind of done with this for now. If you just want the text, so yes, let's just save it. I'll just put it on the desktop. Water mark. Save the Photoshop file just to make sure. And then this is the important part. You want to save as when you want out the when you want out the picture. And you want to go down to a PNG file. And then let's just save it. And this will pop up. Now what we want to do is change the interlace from none to interlaced. Or if it's uninterlaced, just keep it there and press OK. Now what you will have is this file right here. As you can see, it's even transparent in the small thumbnail. So let's just oh, add it into Premiere Pro. To the import right here. I have files over here. Let's just put it in the right folder like that. And then what do you do? You just drag it down to one of the layers on the track. Just get rid of this and drag it over. And voila, you can't barely see it, but it's here since the colors. Let's just do like this and add it up the brightness a bit. See, you can see it right there. I might be using black text is not the best since uh, yeah since it doesn't show up that much but we can just go like in the effect folder let's just add drop shadow just to make it visible uh, like that so now we can let's get hide this for now and let's drag this down a bit again so we so let's just make it longer and then use the effects control again to position it. Go into motion position. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Oh, and then down. Maybe a little bit to the left like that. And there we go. And then let's just 
drag it on for the whole video and maybe even change the opacity as I did with my own to like let's just say 30 yeah that could work and there you have it now you have a watermark and you can do the same like if you want to add like a picture or something if you go to like I don't know party hat <laughs> if you do it like this you can do a bunch of different things just make sure you have the checkerboard behind it in Photoshop save as again PNG yes I want to replace it interlaced okay and let's go back to Premiere Pro and now there's a party hat amazing so that's how you do it in with Photoshop and Premiere Pro but how would you go about doing if you don't have Photoshop so let's just do the same right here add some text why would I have a small AMV let's just bump it up to a bigger size okay I might have to do like this so this is the biggest you can get I guess let's move it to the middle I guess this is the biggest it can get but what do you do in paint that you don't do in uh, Photoshop you can't get rid of the background in paint as far as I know at least so I would go into colors and pick a green one add the whole background as a colored background I don't know if you have to fill out this these white areas right here but let's just leave it at that and then go as you did in Photoshop save as I would go for a PNG picture again and let's put it on the desktop order mark 2 save that down now you didn't have this options to interlace or not because well it doesn't have it in paint but what you do is you go import it to Premiere Pro again do the same thing as well adding it to the composition or the timeline uh, but what do you do right here you go into the effects you can go into video effects keying then use a color key or a ultra key it depends on which one is better I'm just gonna go with a color key for now this is the effects controls pick the color then just bump up the color tolerance till it disappears Yep, let's go with that. Now, why the there are all the white parts right here because you need to remove them in paint. Then you do the same with the motion, drag it over. It's gonna hide the other layer for now. Down, put it in the corner. Now you could use whatever color that fits your needs. It works, but it's not as as good as Photoshop. You can do it a lot different. Let's just try a new one. Let's just try it like this. Just go with like AMV on white. Let's see how that works. That should probably be fine. So you can do it like that instead. Uh, order mark to PNG. Yes, I want to replace it. Now it's white instead. So let's go delete the color key and just go with the Luma key instead. Because uh, uh, that removes like white blackness. Okay, 99 and 99. Some, let's go just a bit under. Okay, let's keep it up here around 90 mark. Yeah, if you have like black and white Luma key, you can work. Let's just, yeah, that can work, definitely. So just go with black and white, or if you use a color, color key, the way it works, this works a lot better, as you can see. 
if you want just want that text go with the white and black but yeah that's basically how you do it if you have photoshop make sure it's interlaced with the checkerboard if you have paint make sure you can actually color key the colors away and then just add it into the track lower the opacity some if you want that i recommend you do some at least like that maybe and yeah that's how you watermark your videos and just make sure also that it's the entire length of the video i usually also add uh, like cross delays not cross delays but crossovers so it like fades out at the end and stuff like that like you've seen yeah well, yeah, that's how you add the watermarks. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and it's you've learned some of it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.